Hello Glammers and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for my upcoming future videos. Due to the pandemic we are facing, always remember to protect yourself while in public, wash your hands often, sanitize as much as you can, and stay healthy. I love you all. I went online searching for furniture and I came across these beautiful and unique furry chairs. I'd like to share with you how I turned a office chair into my very own furry chair. If you would like to find out how I created my very own furry chair, just continue watching and I will start off by cleaning the chair. Next, I'll remove all four sliders. I didn't like the U shape on the rubber slider, so I will cut all four. Once all four were cut, I would just screw them back on. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Once I was done, I will take it to a well ventilated area and spray paint the legs metallic silver. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Next I'll be using two strong cardboard and I'll be covering up the open spaces using Gorilla Tape. Once I was done, I'll start rolling it very tightly and I'll repeat the same steps on the next cardboard. To get the correct measurement, I'll trace the back side of the chair on both pieces of cardboard. I ended up with wings on the sides of the cardboard because I wanted a U shape on the chair, but I needed to add extra pieces to connect it with the chair, so I'll be using my strongest adhesive glue sticks. I added glue on the center of the back to hold it in place, and then I'll continue adding glue to hold the rest. I will repeat the same steps on the back side to even it out with the front. Next, I'll glue on both sides to give it the round shape that I'm looking for. I'll add Gorilla Tape on both sides to make it much sturdier. To fill in the empty spaces on the back rest, I'll add soft foam. Next, I'll be using polyfill and project foam to cover up the chair.
I'll start cutting a half inch away from the edges. I will continue cutting around the seating area. Because I was running out of foam, I'll be using four layers of polyfill for fullness. Next, I'll start stapling on the back side using my staple gun. And this staple gun, you may also use nails. And this is very easy to use with minimum pressure. Cut off the remaining polyfill. Next, I will start adding the placements for my tuffing. Due to the lack of fabrics we have in our stores because they're being used to make masks, I'll be using fleece throws to cover up my chair. Next, I'll start by filling where the holes are at and then I'll use my staple gun to hold each hole in place. And always remember to continue pulling the fabric as you go. I will also pull the fabric underneath the chair and staple it in place. I was running low on foam so I'll be using the same fabric to place on the seating area and this actually makes it nice and soft and also very cushioned. Next, I'll start adding large size gems with hot glue where I created the toughens. For my next project, I'll be using a tool bucket and I'll be creating an ottoman. To start off, I'll be putting some pressure to remove the handle and also the label. Next, I'll be using metallic silver spray paint and I'll spray paint right up to the rim. Next, I'll be using a 12 inch pizza pan and I'll start off by removing the label. Next, I'll be gluing two round 10 inch cardboard cutouts and I'll be gluing them on the center of the pan. I also pre-cut round foam and I'll be gluing it onto the pan. I'll be using my strongest adhesive to glue on the pan to the bucket because I will not be using this for storage. I also use foam to cover up the outer edge. 
Next, I'll use the same fabric, cut it to size, and then I'll start gluing the bottom edges. Next, I'll start adding silver gem wrap, and it would not be me unless I add some bling to my creations. And now you have a glamorous ottoman. And here's the finished look. I really do have to say, I really do love the way this chair turned out and the softness of it gives it a really elegant and beautiful appearance. And also by creating an ottoman, it completes the whole entire look. Who would think that you could take an old office chair and a tool bucket to create beautiful and glamorous pieces? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's DIY as much as I enjoyed making it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Click on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. Please stay strong, safe, and healthy, and I'll see you real soon.